You're gonna be a two-time MVP, seven-time All-Star, and you break your nose like a dozen times. Kevin Durant, Oklahoma City Thunder. You never heard of them, huh? You're gonna be playing for them in five years. <laughs> Stephen, Stephen Curry, your dad played in the NBA. I bet you want to be just like him. Steph. I came back to tell you something. You'll practice hard, and you will be. And in 10 years, I'll be with my dad, and we'll be watching you. What you just saw was obviously just a commercial that had several people portraying a time traveler. But what if I told you that I might have just gathered some NBA cases proving that time travelers actually do exist? Sure, there's no way we can 100% prove that time traveling exists, but you can't necessarily prove otherwise either. It's just that your brain won't allow you to believe it. Here's some footage that just might blow your mind. There's a conspiracy theory going on right now. About what? About you. What I do now? No, it was at one of your fights in the 90s. I forget what fight it was. <laughs> and there's someone in the crowd with a camera phone. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> it looked like an iPhone in the crowd with the light on. <coughs> in 95. Like, in 95. What the time traveler. Yeah, do time traveler. Time traveler. Yeah. yeah that's what the time <laughs> look at the guy. The phone. That looked like what a Samsung. Yeah, what? that's crazy, right? What? And look how big it is. It's, wait, wait, it looked like a, a new a iPhone 10 type shit. Like. Yeah, the deep part. Look at that. Come on, that's a phone. Oh, they had nothing shit. like that back then. I'm not sure if that clip did its job convincing any of you guys, but it was certainly an interesting conversation. And the fact that they can have a somewhat serious conversation about this topic means that we can too. So hop in the time machine with me and enjoy the ride. When the 2021 NBA Finals participants were made official, we were all pretty surprised because it was not the matchup many saw coming. But one fan named Jarrett Plummer knew all along, way before any of us. It was five years ago when Jarrett Plummer predicted that the Bucks and Suns would face off in the NBA Finals this year. Jarrett Plummer is gaining national attention for this 2016 tweet predicting a 2021 NBA Finals face-off between the Bucks and Suns. The giant Bucks fan was just 15 when he posted the prophecy. Of course, a lot of people were skeptical if this tweet was even real when the story broke. But I guess as long as the guy knows it's real, that's all that really matters. A lot of people don't even believe that's real, but... Now sure, it didn't quite go all the way to seven games, but when you say something that accurate from five years ago, something is definitely up. And at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if his 2016 self was in the 2021 crowd. Now there actually was a suspicious person at a game during these past playoffs, and the game she attended was the game where Devin Booker and Patrick Beverly's heads collided. Which was strange because if you take a look at the shirt she was wearing, that's almost too eerie even for my liking. If you don't know what that image is from, it's from when Steve Nash and Tony Parker experienced the same thing. Nash was a member of the Phoenix Suns, just like Booker is, and both instances took place on the Suns' home floor. What are the odds of something like this happening? Well, I'd say the odds are actually pretty low, unless she had a premonition of some sort. Or let's say she saw a quick glance of the future and had a That's a Raven moment. This just might be the epitome of what a time traveler would look like. Here we have a 2005 Toyota commercial starring Phil Jackson for some reason where the events turned out to actually happen. Man, what a blowout. Well, at least we beat the traffic. And the heat have tied it. 
Mara, come back. Oh, come on! He who leaves before the bell tolls may not be there when the story unfolds. That's right, this 2005 commercial sounds awfully similar to the events that took place eight years later in real life. The fans left prematurely during a Miami Heat game and were not allowed back in, just like in the commercial. And just like a time traveler would do, he warned us about it using his power for good. I still get goosebumps just thinking about it. Another one that I've mentioned before in the past is this comment that somebody posted on YouTube under this NBA 2K15 video, predicting that Kevin Durant would join the Warriors all the way back in 2014, which was a good amount of time before it actually came true. He could have just got lucky, but what if he knew more than he was letting on? It is universally known that the United States has always had the best team in basketball, but the most recent Greg Popovich-led team struggled in the beginning of their journey. And this scene from Rush Hour 3, which came out all the way back in 2007, resurfaced following their loss to France, which proved to be prophetic. Americans make me sick. Look man, we are not in the mood for this. Come on America, is a joke. You lost in Vietnam, you lost in Iraq. You can't even beat the Europeans in basketball anymore. The dream team is dead. <laughs> I didn't hear you, man. Talk about the NBA again, I dare you. I double dare you. If you didn't quite catch that, in the movie, a taxi driver tells Chris Tucker that Americans can't even beat Europeans in basketball anymore. Now, he could very well have been referring to the 2004 Olympics, which took place not too long before this movie, or could it be that the taxi driver in the film was actually a time traveler who was just doing us a solid by giving us a heads up way in advance? Throughout the years, there's been times where sports analysts happen to guess the score correctly before the game actually begins, which is highly impressive, but that's just it, a prediction. That doesn't necessarily mean they're freaking time travelers, right? Well, yeah, but how do you explain this Seinfeld clip? I have this note I can't read. I was wondering if... <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Cleveland 117, San Antonio 109. <laughs> but not enough tonight. 117 to 109. Cleveland 117, San Antonio 109. There's just something about this that seems a bit more supernatural than just blurting out any old prediction. It could mean something that was just bound to happen eventually, or it could mean something much, much more. I'm sure by now we've all heard the legendary phrase, Bucks and Six. And the man who started it all was none other than Brandon Jennings back in 2013. We just gonna go out there and play basketball and win. And win? Yeah. And how many games? Six. We're gonna be, we're gonna win the six. And now it's amazing how everything came full circle with the Bucks winning the championship in six games. It's just that he spoke eight years too soon. Well, technically, he never actually specified the year in which they would win in six games. Which raises the question, did he really mean Bucks in six in 2021? I know I sound batshit crazy right now, but it is an interesting theory, huh? Either way, he was eventually proven correct. All right, there he is, the man, the one who had the prophecy eight years ago, Bucks and Six. It is now officially Bucks and Six day here. All right, in all seriousness, hopefully you guys were able to suspend your disbelief for a little while and had some fun. Because after all, this was just supposed to be all in good fun. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.